we're not cooking too much, but we just went camping this past weekend. And one of the things that we were looking at is uh, you wanted to take a tuna can and, and make char cloth, which was kind of cool. I saw that. That was, that was neat, but we couldn't do that. But what we're going to do instead is we are going to make a tuna can lantern. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Oh, dear. Um, we're going to... Oh! You're killing the tuna. Take some tuna. Or a can of tuna. And the tuna that we have to take has to be... If you see that, let's see that. Let's go. Can we get that in? Chunky light up, up. There it is right there. In vegetable oil. Okay? Because what we're doing is we're using the oil from the tuna. And we're going to actually have light, it. light it. Right. So in order to do that, we just, we just take some... Let me take some of this. And we're just simply going to. Oh, is this the oil? So, yeah, that's oil. That's the. Uh, you see, they pack the tuna in oil so that it, it stays fresh. Or more recently, it's it's packed in water, which is a little bit healthier. But we're gonna put this down in there. And right now, what's going on is it's wicking. Wicking. Do you know wicking? Yeah. Which means that the the it's watering up. It's um, capillary action. It's crawling up. The oil is crawling up the paper towel right now. Right? You've heard that before, right? No. You've never heard that before? Okay. There you go. Alright. Let's let's light it. What's huh? Let's take it a second to burn. Alright, hold on. Relax. Whee! Stop. I think we got it. Okay. We got it. Right. We got it. We got it. Alright, put it down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, just put it down for a second. Put it down. It smells good. It smells like tuna. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, oh, you know what that? Let's do fire. Okay. You know what that is? Very warm. Yeah, well, that's that's a pretty big wick going on there. 